Hello to everyone, this is Vishal and again we are on the session of the TDD test driven development. So that's uh, as uh, we are on the sessions uh, on the Kotlin, that be the conversions of the Java sessions as we have done before. Uh, as per the user requirements, they won't be the testing development in a Kotlin also. So the first two sessions be just a simple TTT before we have tests and uh, we have to work with the Mokito then rest we will, we will go with other sessions on the part 2 of the Mokito also but as uh, in a meanwhile we have to discuss the espresso also the basic test of the UI so whenever you work with the, your UI the, how you can implement this kind of test as uh, this also be the same sessions of the Java for the more theory part you have to go with that I provide the link below so espresso is a very good testing for the UI development and uh, I already described these things on the Java session in a more deep way but little bit discuss here so use espresso to write concise beautiful reliable Android UI test as we discuss and it is an instrumentation testing framework made available by Google for the is of UI testing okay so uh, for the UI testing it's a very good test whenever you work with and the process will be the same but here you have to follow some points be here that means espresso entry point to interactions with the view that means on view and on data these two steps we have to work but today we have to go for the on view and the view matchers, view action, and view assertion. The three important part of this uh, espresso, that means the three important factor whenever you work with this. So view matchers, view actions, and view assertions. We have to take these things. I will describe you one by one uh, practically what we have to do with these three assertions, okay? And uh, a lot of stuffs, uh, we have worked that means recycler view I already described in my Java session that I also convert with the Kotlin in this and uh, here so whenever you work with uh, any UI that means there be the buttons there be the tags there be your uh, edit tag so sometimes you have to check cross check all the things that means on view which kind of uh, things be there that means which all widgets be working there then we can uh, cross check it with this test okay and here we have to follow the rules also and uh, for the scales sometimes uh, the animation be fast so you have to off your scales window transition animator so for more deep you have to go for the java session and here in the kotlin espresso test we needed rules runner and espresso the rules and espresso be important so here we have a android x test espresso core 3.1.0 uh, okay and you can check cross check by the new one also so here we have to work like this so let us start it in android studio and uh, we have to follow these rules and start the work on espresso uh, one by one okay and again say that i provide the link you have to go for the theory part on my java sessions in a more deep way so let us start here okay so let us start in android studio here we need some dependencies uh, that's important that's your rules runner and espresso core 3.1.0 nothing else the three important factors we need it and here it's for android test implementation and here we have one text view to edit text and a one button so in which we have to uh discuss about what happened with this kind of test okay so here uh we have a simple main activity and just simply i have set on click listener a toast simply so just for test otherwise not an um any work with this i'm just checking what be the input what be the ui what we how we can interact with things how we can use the view assertions these kind of stuff so basic things we have to learn then we go for on more details in recycler view also okay on data so first you have to check on view what happened a basic test in your espresso so let's start on activity here 
okay so what to do with that you have to go for the right click here and then go for the test that whatever be your test going on uh, that means it is the first espresso uh, for the main activity so if you have other activities you can go with that and uh, you can use it just like your go to and test as we have done many times so you can create your new test okay in your mojito in your um, simple JUnit so so it is your under the library JUnit for the most important thing and there's your main activity test so here you can set up and if you need a steer down otherwise not an issue you can go with only a setup with this okay and then this is a uh, okay and here again uh, whenever you work with your espresso we have to go with android test back so I already described the Android test and simple test as when we have a separate tool for the Mokito we have worked like that. So whenever you go with your UI test or inner test you have to go with your Android test under that okay. So we have to use this and also we have to use we have to follow some rules. So we'll describe it one by one how it's possible. So first we have to go for a simple testing that's your before okay and after you can work otherwise not an issue we have to go with a test and you have to make your function uh, espresso test okay so this is your test and alt enter so our test be ready we have to check one by one one hap what happened with this okay so we have to start our first test with the UI feature. UI means your activity main XML. So it can directly interact with your XML, this kind of testing for the UI. Because of in sometimes we have to go with all the widgets, we have to check one by one whether it inputs be right or not and whether it be there. So everything be on your espresso testing it's very good test whenever you work with UI okay so let's uh, start our test here and here we have our first test of this that means first we have to cross check that all the widgets be there on the UI just like at this time we have a text well edit value that means name well that means all the IDs be there uh, we have to pass this kind of form test that means our UI be completed so for this what to do you have to go with your espresso and you can say that this is your on view so that is the most important method be whenever you work with okay and here your with id uh, you have to go with that id that means r dot id dot text well name well so you can fetch all the ids with there so this is the way you can cross check that your on view method that means on view you have all the widgets of the ui be completed that means your first values to the last button values you have all in form exist okay so these show to you that all the espresso that means that's directly work with your ui so let start the uh, emulator to test i mean we have to pass this test okay so let us start it so here it showed to you that the test result be passed so test passed one so you can check it one by one on test pass or not for your widgets but the most important thing is that we have to work with uh, performance that means uh, as I told you on the Java session that I never access the keyboard or a mouse but it automatically show to me all the tests on UI just it automatically click that events it automatically input the values so it's your espresso testing one by one so we'll see so first you have to cross check on view method in which we have to uh, access all the values of your IDs okay now we have to go with our next test that is how we can use that button click and how it performs with that okay so uh, whenever we work with these things that means the first one is as I discussed to you that's your view matcher and uh, then we have to go 
with your view actions then we go for the view assertion so the collections of objects that implement the matcher that means that's beyond your interface or not so you have to cross check using the on view method so whenever you have a hierarchy of all the widgets you can cross check as in we have as we have done on the on view just for your edit tags for your text well for your button so this is called your view matching now we are on the second phase how to take an action so that's called your view action so that means we have to go for the perform so we have to go on the second phase so the second phase is we have to uh, click the button and then the, it's work or not that means the performance be working well or not so that is called your view interaction dot perform and that is your second way so if you see that this is on view that on view which id we have that's called your view matcher then we have we have to go for the perform click that is called your view action so now we have to go for the view action now see in android studio how we can do that okay so now we have to move on the second phase of espresso the first one is that we have done view matches okay so for this we need our espresso dot the same we have to work that's on your on view and here we have a with id and uh, with id with you are dot id dot at this time i'm working with the button and uh, that is to perform and then perform we have a click but it gets some error uh, that means this perform click is called your view action so whenever you take view actions we need some rule so first we have to check which kind of error is it so we have to run that and see uh, without rule what we get so run that part and check it so here it can show that uh, test is fail because of um, <coughs> that means some runtime exceptions be there so this kind of uh, happening that means whenever you walk uh, you not applied the rules for that so first we need a rule at rule for that our activity so every activity we box on some rules certain rules we have to apply on okay and if you have a JVM so you can use it otherwise not an issue So that's an important uh, factors whenever you work with your and uh, if it works without JVM that's good but uh, whenever you work you can apply it so this is your well and uh, here the most important rule is your activity rule so activity rule is yeah activity test rule and this is your whenever you work with this we need for the main activity so this is your activity you take me the time test rule and that test rules i have to apply for our main activity because of we need to specify that certain rule be applied on okay and uh, that's equal to your activity test rule and your main activity So that's the rule we have to define it for our particular espresso test for the perform click so that means whenever you take an actions 
which actions for which widget so we have apply on some certain rules under the certain rules on that so let us see what it gives us the answer and run that part so here we can see that our task be passed and it's perfectly done so whenever you work with your uh, performance that means view actions so we need certain rules and that rules beyond your particular activity okay that we have to apply on uh, so as we discussed in uh, already on the mojito and jmut4 so this kind of so espresso we work like this this is your activity test rule with your particular activity okay uh, now but uh, important thing is how you can see that our espresso ui be uh, working on your emulator so it automatically works on your button clicks on your text so it can uh, so you never put on your site it works whatever you put it on your espresso test so let's see how it be performed with the actions and also we have to check our uh, view assertions okay so let's see okay so how we can check our test is working perfect or not you just click on that particular test video and uh, run that test whatever be your test and see what happened with this okay i leave the mouse i leave the keyboard i am not using anything and just check it how it works and how it gives the performance on the click so it automatically click on your button and cross check the things that are on particular id I already described these things on uh, Java sessions. See what happened with your test here. Yes, okay. So it click on that particular ID and see that the performance click with there. Okay. And now we have to go with your input text values with your uh, edit text inputs whenever you take it as in a login and other uh, registration forms and other log uh, other where you take input from there so that means sometimes we need to cross check the things from the retrofade and your input on your UI so these things be uh, perfectly happen or not so this is the espresso test for UI and we have to check the view assertions also and one more thing uh, if their animations be uh, on your emulator uh, working fast so you have to of that animations i already described these things on a java sessions please must watch that and now we have to go for view assertions how we can do that it's a similar with uh, as uh, we have done whatever we have a java session so uh, but the recycler view and the other test for the espresso we have to work little different on the kotlin so we'll see on my coming sessions also okay so now we have to go for view assertion this is the third and the last basic phase okay so as uh, we have discussed our first part that is called your view matchers there with the view matchers with our text values then we have our button values also with your performs that means your view actions that on the second phase we have worked now we have to go for the third phase that is called your uh espresso view assertions okay so view assertion means this is your on view and first we have to use that view matchers okay so you can see that first one it showed you view matcher so when you say with id and here the id is your r dot id dot i'm taking some input values on the edit text just like if you're doing the login and uh, on the login phase you have some values from the back end or from your retrofit or database whatever be and that cross check to your input value so what happened on that so in that kind of cases with the ui test we need this kind of uh, assertions okay then we have to go with your perform performance we have to work with view action this is your view action you can see that it's show to you view action okay so inside your view action i need a type text and it automatically type on input as an official i will show you on emulator so it the as espresso testing it show to you on that means a typing text automatically okay uh, i already described in the java sessions also 
so you no need to make a any type on that case you know to click on any button on that case it automatically be happen on and this is your perform type text and now you have to check that is the most important part that is called your view assertion you can see that this is a view assertion so you have to view assert so here i want to match that means i need something that is inside and uh, that matches with our with text and that text i need be the same as in a vishal okay so we have to copy uh this espresso that uh, whatever we have done copy paste and that's for our second test for the edit value okay uh, that means for my password so we have to put that second edit input here and check it that's for the view for the performance and as well as for my cross checking values assertions okay and now also you can check your button click that means for the login so you can see one by one all the values be worked there okay so if you want to be get the success value you can put it on the text view that i describe already in java so same things but I just showed you how we take an input here and thus you have to practice the first espresso basic then I will describe you how to work with your retrofit cross-checking with your UI okay so just see what happened and uh, run this test and on your emulator you can see that what be the uh, your result has to be how it reacts so this is our espresso test wait for a minute and cross check it actually I have slowed down the animations on emulator so you also be off your window animations all three all three i kind of animations be on every settings that i uh, each and everything i describe with you okay but here you have to focus on three things as i described that one by one again say whatever be your value that's your view your your ui components or widgets then you have to perform some actions and then you have to assert that means you have to uh, check the things what happened be there with the values that means that means cross check the things okay so you can see that it showed to you we shall we shall and then click on that okay so the everything be done by itself so you can cross check the things and if you have any issue you can ask to me so we have done this simple espresso as the same as we have done for the java is the same thing as for the kotlin so on the next session i will describe you how to work with the recycler view that means on data so this is the on view we have worked then we work with the on data on backend data how it comes how we can react with your uh, recycler so that's the tdd third part on the kotlin convergence 